Hey guys, so you already know we're heading to the airport to go to Hiroshima. I'm heading to the train station, I think we're gonna ask my mama, we're going to Tashikawa, right? And taking a bus. Oh, uh, Tashikawa and then a bus, right? What? Now how are we getting there? What? The other direction. Oh, I don't know how to get there. So we're at Kawasaki Station now after a pretty long train ride. I was trying to fall asleep for most of the ride, but I didn't really do that well. I'm trying to fall asleep. But, it's like, it's kind of the same, but a little bit different from the Tashikawa, so I'm not sure what we're doing now. Like you can see behind me, it's still before 7, and there's still so many people, so that shows how busy this place is, or at least the whole Japan is. I woke up Chris Breezy Oh my god, I'm the man I'm so fly and I can dance There's tattoos on my neck I just FaceTime Kanye I told him I'm his biggest fan, yeah Got all these hoes in my DM Holy shit, I got a kid Oh, I can sing so well Wonder if I can sit in work Wait, can I really sit in work? Alright, we're at the airport now. I don't think I've ever been to this part of the airport. It's my first time because it's the domestic zone in the Japan airport. I've been to the international, but not the domestic. First thing I see are Mercedes over there and over there. It's not as bright as the international one. You can see the international one has a whole bunch of decorations and like rainbow lighting and the, on the roof. It's a lot cooler, but just like any other airport. Look at the machine that does the baggage itself. Scanning. Huh? Wow. You can go. Just slides back. Pushes back. We're going through security now, so see you guys in the So, funny story. Um, so, a while back, my uh, friend got me a trainer, butterfly knife. It was a dull one, though, but it was a really cool one. It had like skeleton designs on it and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a dull knife, so it's not dangerous, but what ended up happening is it's been in my backpack for probably the, la for the last year. I never take it out, it's just always in there, and I always forget about it, so um, what ended up happening is um, when I was going through security, they, I guess it was in my bag at the time, right here, so they took it out, and they had to check it, and took it out. when they took it out, I was like, oh my god, I forgot to take that out, I didn't even remember I had it in my backpack, and actually, I didn't even remember, I brought it over the border to Japan, and the Canadian customs didn't find it, which is really surprising. Anyway, the Japanese customs did. They took it, and then they said, um, you know, we're gonna, they are really nice about it. They said that they had to, you know, they would have to uh, put it in a special package and have it delivered to the other airport on our flight, but I can't carry it on board, of course, for various reasons, but they, I mean, they almost let me carry it on the flight because it was a dull one, but they had to take the precautions, so I ended up not having it took it away but I'll get it back later but that was very embarrassing because we had to go back in the line with the police officer everyone would have been staring at all looks like these guys got caught up with something so that was pretty embarrassing anyway my mom's at the mom's going to the bathroom right now we're at our gate waiting for a flight gets here I think in about half an hour so uh. We accidentally went through the premium class terminal, even though it leads to the same place, but it's just for the premium people and where we are. So they gave us free headphones, so we're actually not supposed to have them because we're economy, so it's a win. Landed in Hiroshima.
Hiroshima and I'm just having some breakfast now. And I'm gonna hop on a bus for 45 minutes and get to our hotel. crossing the street underground right now because there's no crosswalk up there but we have gotten off the bus and we have to walk 25 minutes to get to our hotel so that's where we're going right now um i'll show you guys when we get back out but it's very sunny outside and i, I wish i didn't wear these sweatpants because it's kind of hot <laughs> Very so what, I, what I'm about to show you guys is the last building standing from when uh, they got nuked during, I think it was the war, I don't know, but America tested two nukes and then, whoa, look at that, there's a cat over there, but that's it right there. Same rocks from when it exploded or whatever, all still covered. It's like it's been untouched. Look at that cat. <laughs> Alright, so we went to the hotel, but we can't check in until 4. So we left our suitcase there and we changed. I had a tank, tank top under, but uh, my uh, backpack, the material on the inside, really hurt against my skin, so I switched that out. Right now, we're walking back to the area where the bombing happened, now known as the Peace Park. And tomorrow, we're probably gonna go on a ferry and see this red, red island shrine thingy. But it is very sunny inside put some sunscreen on because I know that if I don't put some sunscreen on I'm gonna get sunburned and I'm gonna hit myself after that so that's the dome that we saw before and that's the river and at that time is when the bomb dropped through that picture this is what was basically left other pictures that we saw. Oh, right. Just finished the museum tour. Didn't record much because my camera's almost dead. So, but anyway, right over there is where Obama did his speech. So we just spent about an hour in the mall. My mom got new socks because she can't find hers. But now there is a Pokemon Center in Hiroshima. So, how are we gonna head there? We really don't have anything else to do. Got everything today. The castle around here is closed, so I guess that's where we're heading. Pokemon Center. We got the Gyarados and Pikachu. There's the Pokemon Center. This is for Sai, because my sister, she wanted us to come to the store. Because it's, it's only in Japan, it's Pokemon Center. Saka, this is, this is what it looks like, Saka. It's got that Pokemon music, too. I don't know what's over there. We'll look over there. Packs are way cheaper here. They're one dollar and fifty cents here, but um, in Vancouver they're like six bucks each. 
It's way cheaper here. I'm gonna poke my phone cases. It's also Alex's hobby's birthday today, so I'm gonna wish him a happy birthday. And if he's watching this video, uh, my friend Harmony wants me to tell you that she loves you, so uh, I hope Laura doesn't get too mad about that. But, uh, we just stopped by a 7 Eleven. I got like four bread sticks or whatever they're called, and then mom got some coffee. So now we're just heading back to the hotel. It's not really that late yet, but it's dark as you can tell. So it was pretty fun day in Hiroshima. Spent most of the day at the museum. I did not record. As you know, I recorded some of that, but uh, a lot of the parts I didn't record. Because my camera would have died. My camera is almost about to die right now. So I'll see you guys in the next video.